Organizing your products into collections and sub-collections is extremely important because when you do so, you improve your store user experience and you help your customers to find exactly what they are searching for. And not only that, you help them to explore what you are selling. The presence of sub-collections becomes more important when you have a large catalog. So let's say, for example, you sell grocery items and you sell only organic products. So your main theme is organic. The first collections you might have are food, beauty products, maybe pet products. And then you need to divide these collections into sub collections so taking food for example you need to divide food into breakfast snacks lunch and so on but also under breakfast you need to divide things into maybe dairy maybe cereal maybe uh, fruits and so on the larger your catalog is the more important your sub collections become but before moving to my screen to show you how to create sub collections I must tell you that all collections on Shopify are born equal by default every collection in Shopify is exactly like the same. The concept of sub collections doesn't actually exist, but we are going to differentiate between collections and sub collections by how we display them on your Shopify store. Before moving to my screen, I want to take one moment to invite you to do three things. First, I want to invite you to like this video because by liking it, you will help it to reach more and more people. And second, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And finally, and most importantly, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you how you can create a strong, sustainable e-commerce business. I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to be able to attract, convert, and most importantly, retain your customers. So if you are interested about creating a strong, sustainable business, go down to the description and sign up to the workshop. It's totally free and you don't need to pay any dollar. And now let's get back to our topic and let's move to my screen. So here I am inside of my Shopify store. And from here, I want you to go to products and under products, you have the collections. These are some collections that I have already created in here. They are just examples. So in this store, I'm selling yoga outfits and my main collections are women, men, and accessories. And under women, I would have, for example, full sets. I would have tops, bottoms, and so on. If you go in here to my my uh, online store to navigation, you will see how I divided my collections in my main navigation menu. Okay, actually I have created this store for a YouTube video. If you didn't watch it yet, you can watch it by clicking on the link you will find up above. It's a video that shows you step by step how we can customize your Shopify theme. Now getting back in here, you will notice that I have three main collections and under women, I have bottoms and under bottoms, I have pants and shorts, for example. So I have three layers of collections. I have the main collection, then I have the first sub collection, then I have the third sub collection. This is actually the first way that you can show your sub collections by introducing them as your third layer of navigation. So when I go now to my store, if I want to preview it, if you go in here, you will notice that I have three main collections, women, men, and accessories. Then under each one of these, I have some collections. So I have bottoms, bras, accessories, and so on. And under each one of these, I have my sub collections, which are pants and shorts. So this is actually the first way that you can showcase your soft collections by introducing them as a third level uh, item in your menu. And this is very easy. You just create your navigation menu in here, as you can see, and you assign, organize your sub collections under the main collections and so on. If you want to know more about navigation menus and how to organize them and how to add items and so on, I highly recommend you to check this video on this YouTube channel because it shows you exactly that. Now, getting back to our store in here, as I told you, this is the first way to showcase your sub collections. Now, getting back to our topic, I want to show you now the second way to show your sub collections and it's actually much more creative and it's very appealing visually. So I'm going to my online store and from here I will go actually to my collection pages. You can notice that now I have only one collection page type and it's the default collection. I'm gonna stick with this one because I want to create a different template for my woman collection. So I'm going in here and I'm going to click on create template and I will call it woman. So stay with me because when I finish everything you will understand exactly what I'm doing. So I have created my first collection page template and by default this page template will show the products related to this collection so I'm going in here to change this and show the woman collection so now I'm seeing everything that's under this collection I want to take this to a totally different level by showcasing my sub collections so what I'm going actually to do is to click on add section and I'm going to choose to add the multi
empty column section. I will move it up and put it in here. What I will do is that I will add each of my sub collections in here in these columns and I will make them clickable so people can go from here directly to the sub collections. Let's say for example I will start with this one. I will remove everything, all the text. I will add an image. So since the first one is gonna be the bottom collection. So let me, for example, pick uh, this one, okay? I can add in here the title and I can link in here directly to my bottoms collections. Then I will go back. Then I will go to this section in here, to the second column. I will remove the content. I will call it tops and I will add an image that's somehow related. Let's say this one. Then I will go to my third column and I will add the accessories collection and I will link to the accessories collection. So this is the own theme. So everything you are seeing in terms of options and colors and so on are related to this exact theme. But if you are using a different theme or maybe a more professional one, you will have more options and you will be able to edit the multi-column in a better way to make it look even better and better. But let's see how far we can go with the don't theme. So for the title, instead of multi-column, I'm gonna put in here shop by type or by product type or something like this. Or we can do something more creative, for example, explore our products. I will see if I can um, make it align center. I can't actually change this. I don't want to have a button. I'm gonna remove it. I will remove the background. I guess this is better. I will enable swipe on mobile. I'm fine with this. I wanted to see if I can center the heading. See what we can change. This is nicer by the way. Okay, I'm gonna make them smaller like this and I will, I can't adjust the spacing unfortunately, but it's fine. Let's see. Okay, it's better. So in this way, I have showcased my sub collections. Now, as I told you, if you are using a different theme, maybe a more professional one, you will find different options. Let me go back and try to do the same with the enterprise theme. So I'm going back since this is already a theme that I'm using. So I'm going to click on customize and I will go to collections. I will click on create template. I will call it woman. And in here, I will choose to see the woman collection. So this is the collection banner. I'm going to hide it and I will add a section, which is the multi column like this I will move it up and see how far I can go with this with the options in here so let's say explore our product heading alignment I want it to be center I don't want to have a view more the layout let's see the grid how it's look okay uh, column size I'm gonna make it small I prefer content alignment center let's keep it square okay let me go back in here and see if I start putting those as an example I will remove the text I don't think this is way better than don't by the way but it's fine let's see what we will have so going back in here I'm gonna do the same thing and back in here I will put another collection maybe I will add a fourth one let me see how this is gonna look in full screen. Okay, it looks nice. Actually, this is how I divided my collection into sub collections. Okay, I'm gonna do something. As you can see, this is the product grid under it. So I have this and I have this. Now you need to know that whenever you want to change anything related to the colors or something, you find the options in here under color scheme and so on. So as you can see, this is a very nice and smart way to showcase your sub collections. There is also another way to show your sub collections and it's through doing the following. Let me go back to the don't theme because I know that many people are actually using it. So I will try to see if it holds this option. So I'm going back in here. I will click on customize and from here I will click on, I will go back to the collection page I have just created. So I'm going to woman. Then I will click on add section and some collections hold what we call collections list yeah it does have it so this is the one i'm gonna move it up so in this case instead of using the multi-column section you can use the collection list section so i'm going in here i will select my collections so accessories i will go back i will select buttons and finally i will select this one okay so this is another way to showcase your sub collections and as you can see when people land they see your sub collections and they can go to each of these sub collection and explore the items you sell in there. Once this is done and once you have created your woman collection temp page template, you need to assign this page template to the woman collection because now if I go to the store, if I preview the store from here, if I go to the woman collection actually, it's not clickable so let me go back in here. If I go now to products to collections and I 
try to preview the women collection, you will notice that I don't have the sub collections or any of the elements that I have just created because I didn't yet assign the template to this collection. So one second, I'm going here to click on view. As you can see, now it's only showing the products. I don't see any of the things that I have created. What you need to do is to go in here and under online store to assign the default the template you have created and you click on save and now you go back in here and you refresh the page one more time let me close and preview one more time so as you can see now i have these in here like my sub collections when i scroll down i have more of these if you want to have multiple sub collections maybe you want instead of using photos you want to use icons or you want to use infographics like small ones or vectors or whatever you have in mind the multi-column could be very nice because you can see them one next to the other they can be very small if you have so many sub collections the multi-column option might be better than using the collection list because you can like minimize the, like the image or the icon of each of your sub collections and showcase them one next to the other another way to showcase your sub collections is to use the featured collection section let me show you how you can do that from the customization area from here i'm gonna actually hide all the sections that i have created so this time instead of creating multi-column or a collection list i'm gonna click here on add and i'm going to add a featured collection and i will move it up so i will be dividing my product in here by the sub collections so for the first one for example i'm gonna pick the accessories and i will name it women accessories then i will do the same for my two sub collections so i'm gonna add another one so this one is gonna be the bottoms for example and from here i will select the collection then i will do the same for my third sub collection and i will call it i will move it up like this and i will call it tops and select the collection when someone lands on this collection page which is the main woman collection page they will find the products already divided between bottoms tops and accessories i can decide to either for example hide the product grid or keep it in there it's up to to me i will actually keep it in there because i like also to give the people the ability to use the filters to find what they are searching for filters are actually very important and they play a role very similar to the sub collections role because they help your customers to find what they are searching for if you are not using filters i highly recommend you to do so especially now after all the shopify updates filters are becoming smarter and smarter and they are and they are becoming more and more efficient if you want to know more about how to use filters how to profit from this option i highly recommend you to check this video on my youtube channel because it shows you everything you need to know about filters so as you can see although all collections are born equal in shopify we are still being able to create the illusion of having sub collections by displaying them in the right way on your shopify store from i hope that you liked this video and find it helpful if so don't forget to smash the like button because by liking this video you will help it to reach more and more people and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time i publish a new video thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end i truly appreciate that if you have any question any question don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below and i will be more than happy to help you out thank you again and see you next week bye bye